The canal builders had to overcome a formidable obstacle course, particularly to get down from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario, and from there to the sea. A high escarpment separated the lakes. It was another ancient sea reef. Below this limestone barrier, Lake Ontario's waters escaped seawards when the glaciers retreated. And so Lake Erie above spilled over the escarpment as the Niagara River, cutting back the edge, forming the world-famous Niagara Falls. of the falls is made of a hard limestone called dolomite, but it rests on 60 feet of shale. The weak shale crumbles with the incessant spray, frost, and seepage, undermining the dolomite, which crashes to the foot of the falls. As they collapse, the falls are moving upstream about four feet a year. Since they were formed about 12,000 years ago, They've shifted nearly seven miles. It'll be many a lifetime, though, before they've ceased to be a geological wonder for sightseers. Such a spectacle has been known to cease its flow. Imagine a falls more than twice the height of Niagara and about five times as wide. And that's what used to plunge over this edge at Grand Coulee in the state of Washington.